Former Republican Governor Scott Walker got a little bit of a dose of irony on Monday when his criticism of socialism backfired. Uh, so now on Twitter, uh, Walker tweeted out a picture with Rashida Tlaib and Bernie Sanders standing in front of an empty grocery shelf uh, and said, uh, and let me show you the picture here uh, first. So oh, there it is. Standing in front of nearly empty shelves, uh, right? Uh, and he said on Twitter, uh, quote, anyone notice the backdrop behind Bernie and Rashida? Look like the empty shelves of grocery stores in many socialist countries. Which ones, Scott? Which, uh, which socialist countries are you talking about? Uh, and do they include any uh, country that doesn't actually currently have U.S. or Western sanctions on it for the crime of being a socialist country? I mean, can you answer that? Can anybody answer that? Uh, okay, anyway. Uh, so now, Gateway Pundit also uh, ran their own piece on this titled, Perfect! Two radicals, Bernie and Rashida, stand in front of empty grocery store shelves and push socialism. So, no, let, let's be clear here. Uh, what Bernie Sanders and Rashida Tlaib aren't pushing is not socialism, right? It's social democracy. So, like, I don't know, Norway, Finland, Denmark, to an extent, even Germany, right? Because, uh, look, one of Sanders' plans is to have worker, uh, part worker ownership of companies. You know who else does that? The socialist utopia of Germany. Oh, wait, they're not socialists at all. <laughs> but they are far more to the left than we are here in America, even under a conservative government. That kind of shows you how far to the right the United States actually is. So now, uh, here's the ironic part, right? Uh, now, the photo was taken at the last stop of a corporate greed tour, which Representative Tlaib takes Detroit visitors on. And so this shows, of course, the effect of corporations that uh, don't pay taxes uh, or pay their workers so low that they end up having to actually go uh, either to food banks, uh, which is what is uh, in that picture, uh, and take government benefits. In fact, Walmart tells people, we pay you so low, so you need to go on food stamps in order to survive because we don't plan on paying you anymore. All right, so now, like I said, uh, Sanders and Tlaib's stop was at a food pantry uh, where, of course, uh, you have food, water, clothes. They're given to low-income families in Detroit that need them. These are the same people that are actually left behind when it comes to uh, capitalism, the type of capitalism that Scott Walker believes in. Now, the pantry is on the other side of the city from some of the other stops, uh, which included Marathon Oil, and Little Caesars, who, by the way, got millions of dollars in tax breaks. So congratulations on that. Uh, among other provisions, the pantry is said to have been running out of bottled water. And, and, and by the way, this is due to the fact that a uh, number of families in Detroit have had their water shut off, so they can't afford water. Uh, they can't afford to pay the bills, right? Uh, and running out of food, running out of clothes, essentially running out of everything. Now, the Reverend Roslyn uh, Bouillet, uh, the executive director of this pantry, which is the Brightmoor Pantry, pointed out that the shelves were empty because of the overwhelming demand there is for both food and water in this country. The pantry sees about 1,700 families each month. 1,700 Detroit families that are in need that go to these pantries. Okay. So now uh, the shelves, Bouye says, are so empty because we're doing our job. Because people need the food. That shows the inhumanity. She added that America needs to do better, and that's the sadness of it. Well, you know who agrees? Rashida Tlaib and Bernie Sanders, who say that not only should we do better, we can do better. We're the wealthiest country in the world. Of course we can do better. Now, in case you think that, oh, no, these people are just losers, they refuse to get a job, and just rely on handouts all day. First, that'd be a terrible way to live. Um, the Rever uh, Reverend Bouillet points out that many people in need of food in the U.S. are actually employed. They actually work, but receive uh, wages so low that they can't actually cover the bills. For this community, she says, 
any community in America to be without food and water, to constantly have to live with housing insecurity or water insecurity. It's so utterly ridiculous. It is so evil. It is evil in and of itself. So now, Scott Walker claims to be a good Christian, right? But here he is laughing at a food pantry that is serving generally needing people and using it to bash against so socialism, right? Well, again, this isn't socialism. This is happening under capitalism, right? Uh, and here's the other thing, right? You want to claim you're a good Christian. There's literally passages in the Bible where Scott's boy, Jesus, literally gives away free food. Not only that, it, it, it appears that in the Bible, Jesus and his disciples really like giving out free stuff, free healing of the sick. Again, free food, free wine, right? Turning water into wine. That's kind of awesome. Uh, not only that, free lodging. In fact, the Bible tells people, hey, look, uh, you know, treat the immigrant uh, as you would yourself. Feed them, clothe them, give them a place to stay. Hmm. Interesting. And as a counterpoint here, Jesus goes after the wealthy. He whips the bankers and chases them out of the temple. Usury or interest, by the way, also banned in the Bible. It's a sin. Hmm, interesting. Uh, it appears that the only church or the only religion that Scott Walker adheres to is the church of wealth. Now, Bouye also adds that the former governor, despite being from a more affluent area, also would probably have people starving in his constituency too, despite, of course, uh, believing so much in, in capitalism and running basically his state as a capitalist utopia. And yet, in every state, by the way, where they try this, where they cut taxes for the rich uh, and they you know, basically try to eliminate the income tax and cut services for the poor, you actually end up having way more poor people in in those areas. It's really strange how that works out. Hmm. Uh, now, Bouye says this uh, about that. That tells you how disconnected he is. From the people in his own community, I promise you that someone in his community will exist in the margins of society. We know that to be true all over the United States. And it is. In fact, in Wisconsin, devastating numbers. One in five children live with food insecurity. Nationally, it's one in nine. Disaster. So now, does, uh, does he really care about that? No, I don't think so. I think he cares about tax cuts for himself and for his donors. Whereas Bouye, Tlaib, and Sanders, and the people he derives as wrongly as socialists, actually do care about humanity and helping our fellow man. Hey guys, hopefully you enjoyed that free video. Now I'm going to have to ask you a favor. Between the uh, demonetization and the YouTube algorithm messing around with view counts, etc., we're having a hard time adjusting to the new YouTube reality, which is where you guys come in. See, we have a Patreon, patreon.com slash TYT Nation set up to help us rely on the, you guys, the viewers, instead of big corporate ads. Look, you know the show. You know how I'm not in favor of big corporations anyway. So help us transition away from relying on the ad model to pay the bills and sign up to be a patron, patreon.com slash TYT Nation. That goes a long way to help us keep the lights on. And you guys will know that you're supporting independent progressive media.